your guinea pigs not too fat. Hey, Scott here, Scotty's Animals. Let's talk about the importance of weighing your guinea pig. And let's also not get too uh, worried or nervous or upset about those numbers. I'm a volunteer at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue and people ask me this a lot. They usually will say something like, my vet told me that my guinea pig is overweight or my vet said that my guinea pig could lose a little weight. Or sometimes they just say, look at my guinea pig, he's huge. Is he too fat? The answer is no. Guinea pigs cannot be overweight. And that is if they have a large cage and they get a reasonable amount of exercise. Now, if your guinea pig is eating nothing but treats and lots of veggies, too much veggies and too much of these crappy treats that you see in the pet store. Now, if you wanna learn about what treats are good and what treats are not good, watch this video right here. But if you have a really good size cage and your piggy gets lots of exercise and they're eating high quality pellets and hay and a reasonable amount of veggies, then your guinea pig can't be overweight. In fact, in the case of illnesses, sometimes piggies can lose 50 grams in a day. Like if they have tooth issues or they become lethargic and they have like a respiratory infection. So having a little bit of extra, extra padding, that can actually help save their life. There is a reason why people call guinea pigs furry potatoes. So I'm a volunteer at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue and people ask me all the time, well, what should a guinea pig weigh? How much should a guinea pig weigh? And there's a lot of different factors that will determine the weight of your guinea pig. Different breeds weigh different amounts, of course, their age, but also individual guinea pigs just weigh different amounts. Just like you and I have different builds, guinea pigs also have different builds. So it's not so much how much they weigh, it's how much they are gaining and losing. And if you have a full grown adult piggy, you want their weight to be stable. And if you can put on just a few extra grams, then that's great. So today we're going to weigh all of my guinea pigs. We're gonna put you on a scale, right Gary? All right, so let's do it. So to weigh your guinea pig, you need a digital scale. And I like to put them in the same plastic shoebox tub that I use for baths. I just put it on here like this and that way they don't squirm and of course some of my pigs are bigger than this scale but you don't need a giant scale in fact this scale is really nice it's really cheap and i couldn't find very many scales that were accurate to the gram but also uh, gigantic you know the scale that you step on that you would weigh yourself with might not be accurate you need a kitchen scale like this i'll put a link in the description to this one this one is around ten dollars and i really like it so you just turn it on now you just you can switch it of course you can see it goes ounces milliliters grams kilograms blah 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 you want to put it on grams that's going to be the best way for you to measure. Something that can be really fun is if you keep a running track of all your piggies weights over time. Now you could do that in like an Excel spreadsheet or you could just do this with a notebook like this. You would have the name and the weight and then instead of it being just one column like this. So I put a column for overall health because I think it would be a good idea to just sort of say, looking a little thin, looking good, you know, feeling uh, energetic, you know, but suppose you're weighing a piggy and you notice, oh, maybe they've been a little lethargic or they've got breathing issues. That would just be a good place to write it down. But you could always also just have the names of your piggies up at the top and then you just have the dates going down over time. That's another way to do it. The hardest part might be catching them. Nope, nope, don't go up there. Come on, Gary. Oh, ready? We're gonna weigh you. So one thing to consider is when you put this thing on, it's going to have the weight of the bin. So you need to hit this tear button 
tarry, tear, tar, and then that will even it out. So now you're not including. You could also, of course, just weigh this and then subtract the weight of that from the final weight, but that's the whole point of this button. It makes it a lot easier. Okay, Gary. Oh, good boy. 11. Stop moving. Here, get in the center. 41, 11.98, 11.41, you know, you want to make sure that you're on an even surface. Okay, 11.41, 11.42. Okay, that's it. You're done, Gary. Okay, I'm going to write that down, 11.42. One thing to remember, okay, you're next, Nate. One thing to remember is that, like I said, guinea pigs can gain and lose even up to 50 grams in a day if they have a whole bunch of food or especially like wet veggies. When I've had pigs that had tooth issues and I was trying to put a lot of weight on them, I've seen them gain 20 grams in just like 20 or 30 minutes eating a lot of veggies. So it is totally possible for piggies to gain even up to like 50 grams in a day and also to lose that much so weighing them at a consistent time say before they've had any breakfast you know your piggies should always have access to hay and fresh water and pellets but don't feed them a whole <laughs> watch out you're gonna tip over don't feed them hold on nate 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 don't stay in don't feed them a whole bunch of veggies one day and then the next day, weigh them before you feed them veggies, and you'll think, oh my gosh, my piggy's losing weight. Okay, get in get in the middle. Okay, Nate, 12.96. That's a really good weight. You know, see how it's bouncing around? 12.99, 98, 12.90, blah, blah, blah. Okay, stay still. Get in the middle. 12.98, 12.97. 1296, let's say 1296. If they gain or lose a couple grams here or there, really, like I said, don't worry about that. It's about a consistent trend. So Nate, 1298. And the best thing to do if you want to make sure your piggies are healthy, monitor their poops. Monitor how much they're eating. Nate! <laughs> oh, look what you've done. Don't, don't run away. Ah. Okay, you're done. You're done. Who's next? We got away Sleeping Beauty. Oh, I'm sorry. I woke you up, but not with a kiss. Come on. <whistles> Come on. Come on. Good boy, Pippi. I'm gonna weigh you. What do you think you weigh? You're little. I think maybe, and you could have a fun guessing game. I think, I think you weigh 10, 23. Let's find out. Okay. Get there in the center. Oh, 980, 970, 990, 970, 9, 968. Is that good? 970. 969, 968. Let's say 968. That's not bad, considering you're so little. Again, it's about consistency. It's not about how much they weigh. It's about how are they healthy. You know, I haven't put anything. Um, overall health, I'll just put a check for that they're doing good. So 968 for Pipsqueak. 968. Who's next? Popeye. Good job, Pippi. You ready to go back to sleep? You ready to go back to sleep? You did a good job. You did a good job. Look, this looks like you. Doesn't that look like you, Pippi? <laughs> Doesn't that look like you? Yeah, it does. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, back to bed. Come on, Popeye. Okay, how much do you weigh, Popeye? Let's see. I think you weigh 13.10. Wow. 
What do you think? Okay, ready? Here we go, get your leg in. 12. Nate weighs more than you? Man, I'm not good at this. I'm not really that good at this. <laughs> 1230. 1230. Popeye weighs 1230. And he's so still. Okay, Popeye 1230. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? That's one thing that we don't do at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue as part of our free health checks. We do have scales and we often have the scale at the table but I don't think we always, as a matter of course, weigh every piggy. But we do have a scale, so that is something that someone could ask for. But I think that this is something that is easy to do at home and can be really beneficial, especially if you suspect any kind of health issues. Good boy. Look at that nose. Okay, Gus, how much do you weigh? I'm going to guess, because I feel like you're heavier than Popeye. I'm going to guess 1275. Look at that face. Okay. Okay, here we go. Come on. No way. Is this thing right? There's no way you weigh the same amount as Pippi. Get your butt on this thing. You're so fluffy. 986, you just weigh a little bit more than Pipsqueak? Come on. 987. Now he did come from the shelter and I always thought he was underweight, but that just goes to show you that, uh, what is it, muscle weighs more than fat? So it would be interesting to weigh him in another couple months and see if I've helped put him, put some weight on him. Ah, no, don't, you're tipping it over. Come on. So let's get a final weight. 1286, I mean, 986, 988, 989. Nine. Get back in there. Come on. Get Put your weight on the center. Come on. 989, 987. We'll say 986. 986. So with Popeye, I'll put a check, but with this, I'll say surprised. Okay, I'm with Ron. Ron was battling the third bout of Bumblefoot. He has chronic Bumblefoot from living in a rabbit hutch outside in really cold weather. But I just looked at his paw, and it looks great. You'd never know that he had Bumblefoot. But I think he just gets Bumblefoot so that we can bond. You don't have to get Bumblefoot. We can watch Star Trek anytime you want. You don't have to get sick. You can just say, hey, I want to watch some Deep Space Nine. <laughs> Ron. Ron, what's the 97th rule of acquisition? Give me lettuce. Ron, you feel really heavy. I'm going to guess that you weigh 1289. Could be even more, though. Ah, I am not good at this, but I'm okay. Okay, 1230, 1220. You're bouncing around. Come on, get your butt over the thing. 1230, 1228, 1229, 1228. Let's say 1228. Yeah, 1228, Ron. Good job. 1228. Okay. And uh, I think that's still pretty good. Okay, I think Gizmo could be the biggest. Let's go, let's go weigh your brother now. I think he could be the fattest pig. I, that, I mean, I think he could be the healthiest. Oh. No rush. No rush. You like that? Aww. Gives me the tinglies when I see that you like it. Look at that lip. 
Look at the lip down there. Let me focus on your lip. <laughs> Aww. Okay, you're distracting me. You always distract me because you're so cute, Ron. Look at that side eye. Okay, let's go back. Keep doing the feather thing, BB. He does this thing where he like, yeah, do it. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I love it. <laughs> I love that. I don't know why I love that so much. Oh, BB, you're so funny. That's a full time job right there, preening all those feathers. The weather's changing. It's becoming fall. Look at those wings. Look at those pretty wings. Everyone's distracting me. Okay, let's get back to it. Gizmo, I think, is the biggest piggy. He's handsome. And of course, this is a good time to write down anything. He's kind of lumpy. He's got like a little lump right here. It doesn't stick to anything, so I think they would call it a fatty lipoma. Saskia knows all about those things. So, but I can write it down, lump, you know, on his back. There's, I think he's got two of them, but this one's about the size of a, a small marble or a, a big pea. Not very, not very big. Okay, Gizmo, how much do you weigh? I'm guessing that you weigh 1305. I think you're the biggest, I think you're the biggest piggy here. Ooh, 1350, 1390, 1348. Okay, stay in the middle. 1345. Okay, let's lift it up. Make sure that this thing is zero. Okay, get back in there. We'll center this thing. Hold on, get your butt in the center. 1349. I like that. Look at that crest. You're a handsome dude. 1349. I think you might be the winner. Good boy. Thank you so much for being such a good friend to Ron, keeping him company. He's had a tough time with his bumblefoot, and it's nice to know that he has a really good friend that's always there for him. Okay. 1349, write that down, 1349, write down, he has a lump on back, this is hard to write like this, it's a marble size, okay, good. Piggy Smalls has always been little, like Pipsqueak. But he is pretty dense, but he's very thin. Not not thin like he has muscle mass, but he's just always been very little. Um, and that's just how it is. Some piggies weigh more than others, um, and that's just the way it is. So I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess. Hopefully, hopefully he's he's in the 900s, but maybe 850. Um, I'd like to keep him as hefty as possible, but he's he's always maintained his weight, so that's good. I'm going to say maybe 875. Okay, ready? Wow. That's amazing. Yep, it's, it's because he's dense. He's got a, a good muscle mass. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. You weigh more than Pipsqueak. I mean, I guess he, he is a little bit bigger than Pipsqueak. Let's just lift this off and make sure. Okay, let's, we're zeroed out. That's good. Come on, get, get back in there. And this thing is in the middle. 1072. You're in the middle. 1072. I like that. We'll call it 1072. Pleasantly surprised. 1073. 
Good, good job. So 1072, I'll say wow with a smiley face. So now we have the handsome dice man, right, with his little spots. Dice is also not a very big piggy. He's a perfect match for piggy smalls, even though they don't have a perfect relationship, but they get along pretty well. They don't take no guff from each other, but let's see. Um, I'm going to say... If Piggy Smalls is 1072, I'm going to say that he weighs 1120. My guess is a my guess is 1120. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. Finally I get close. Up. Oh, hold on. Hold on. No bath time. 1130. Get in the center. 1130. Good job. What a handsome boy. Look at this handsome handsome boy. Look at that nose. Come here. You like that? Look at that pointy nose. Look at that pointy nose. Hey. <laughs> Look at those piggy lips. Look at those piggy lips. <laughs> okay, hold still. Hold still. Get in the middle. 11.30. I'm going to say... 1128, 1129, 1130. Let's just call it that. 1130 with a smiley face. Now, I don't believe Shrimpy was full grown when he first got here. He's always so funny. Whenever he smells other piggies, he goes crazy. You gonna calm down? He likes to smell. Here, smell. You smell them? You smell those piggies? You smell them? He was not full grown when he got here. And now I believe he is. So, shrimp, how much do you weigh? I think you weigh 1280. You think I'd be getting better at this as we go along. Look at your pretty eyelashes. Look at that. Let me see. Look, you got blonde eyelashes. Oh. Look at those little blonde eyelashes. That's so funny. Okay. 1280, I think. Shrimp, calm down. You're not getting a bath. It's okay. Wow, look at that. 1286, 1284. What do I win? I got the prices right. Wow, look at that. 1280. I didn't cheat. 1284, we're going to say. Good job, shrimp. I got very close without going over. 1286, 1285. Here, get in the middle. Make sure you're in the middle. 1284. Shrimpy, 1284. Put a heart because he's all grown. Up. Bengal has also grown quite a lot since he's been here. Bengal was put out on the street, and the neighbor of whoever let him go, who comes to the LA Guinea Pig Rescue, found him luckily. You smell the other piggies? And so they they caught him and they said that they couldn't keep him. But then we were too full at the rescue, so Saskia asked if I would foster him. So I've been fostering him. Okay, 
I think that you weigh 1250. 1372. Oh, I thought I was doing so good. Let me make sure that this thing, okay, it's zeroed out. Wow. 1370, 1375, 1380, 13. Okay, hold still. Get your butt in the middle. 1373. We'll call it 1373. Wow, does that mean you're the heaviest? Heavier than Gizmo. That is indeed a surprise. 1373. It's an upset. Wowzers. Wowzers. You could be the winner. I can't believe it. Oh, you're the winner of a nail clip. You need a nail clip. We'll get, we're going to do that tomorrow. What do you think? It's time to weigh the handsome cupcake. You really do look like one of those chocolate cupcakes. Oh, my goodness. Yes, you do. Okay. Well, I think that you're somewhere in the 1200 range. He's really grown from really thin piggy. Yeah, wow, okay. 12, hold still, 12, 19, 21, you want to say 12, 21? Good job. He was so underweight and so skinny. So he's grown up a little bit. He wasn't totally full grown, but almost. 12, 21, 12, 20, 12, 19. 1221. I'm so happy. Okay. 1221. I'm just going to say, yay. Now, Phil was very small, not full grown, even smaller, and I think he's younger than Cupcake, and he had mange. And so he was so skinny and he had bald spots and he was itching and he was going into seizures and crying all the time. And now he's a big fluffy boy. Now he's a big fluffy, fluffy boy. And I think he might even be heavier than Cupcake, if not very close. Now I can't imagine that he would be the heaviest pig because there's some stiff competition here. But I think he is somewhere in the 1215 to 1230 range. But we never know because there's so many interesting factors. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Ah. Come on, stay in there. Stay in there, Phil. So close to 1200, 1297, 1298, or I mean 1198, 1197, 1198, 1202, you're staying in the middle, no, 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 stop, stop, stop squirming, Phil, stop squirming, come on, 1197, come on, stop squirming. 1198. We'll say 1198 before he hops out. Good job, buddy. I'm so proud of you. You gonna sit there while I write it down? 1198. I'm just gonna put a bunch of hearts. There, we weighed them all. There's the final tallies. So I went ahead and I ran the numbers to see who was the heaviest. And look at that, Bengals the heaviest, followed by Gizmo, followed by Nate, and then Shrimpy, and then Popeye, and then Ron, and then Cupcake, and then Phil, and then Gary, and then Dice, and then Piggy Smalls, who's number 12, where's number 12? 
Did I do this wrong? Gus. And then 13, Little Pipsqueak, his namesake. So, there's the final numbers. Did you guess like I did? And did you get any of them right? I am really kind of surprised that Bengal is the heaviest. And I'm pleasantly surprised that Piggy Smalls and Cupcake and Phil weigh as much as they do. And really, all of these are healthy weights. But if you want to know for sure how they are doing, you're going to want to weigh them every week. So um, I don't necessarily weigh all my piggies every week. That would be a lot of work. As you could see, that took a, in real time about an hour. Uh, but if you ever see any other signs of illness, weighing them regularly every couple days or every week is a great way. And you know, if you do weigh all your piggies every week, it's a really fun thing to look back on, especially over the course of their life. So, you know, for example, I might weigh Pipsqueak, I might give him some extra veggies and see if I can't get him up to 10, you know, to 10 to 1,000 grams. But none of these piggies need to go on a diet, okay? That is one of the main things that I want you guys to take away. If you're giving your piggies high quality hay, high quality pellets, and good fresh veggies every day, now strive for organic. How can you improve their food? If you can give them organic veggies, then that'll go a long way. Same thing if you can eat organic veggies yourself. Whenever you can afford it, it's always a good thing. But none of these piggies need to lose weight. And as long as your piggies have enough space to run and get the exercise that they need, then there is no weight that is too much. Well, I hope you found that interesting and enjoyable. I will leave a link in the description for this digital scale. And when you're thinking about your guinea pig's health, I would definitely, and we at the rescue, definitely recommend Pet Health Insurance, Guinea Pig Pet Health Insurance is offered by Nationwide. There's also a link to that in the description. So please check it out and you would be surprised at how much you'll be reimbursed, how much it can help you in the case of an illness. I think it's so important to learn about guinea pig common illnesses. You can save your piggy's life. And so here is a playlist about common illnesses. And I put this together to try to show you some of the most common illnesses. Hi, BB. So I really hope you will take the time to check out the common illness playlist. And for more information about common illnesses and everything guinea pig related, I've got a free guinea pig care guide on my website, Scotty's Animals. So until next time, thanks for watching.